to the Twin Diaries. My name is Sana, not Shauna. Um, and today we're going to be talking about how to pass WGU's biochemistry class, the most dreaded class, <laughs> um, I think probably in the program. So I've heard, um, and yeah, probably the hardest class that I've taken since my undergrad. So um, yeah, so let's get into the video. So I will start by saying this is how I pass the class. This is not how you have to, uh, I, I know how I study and I know what works best for me. Um, and I also followed the WGU's biochemistry Facebook page, which I recommend. But I will say take everything with a grain of salt because there is a lot of negativity and people failing and it'll freak you out. If you, especially if you're a high anxiety kind of person, I'm not a high anxiety person, but if you are seeing all those negative things on there about people failing this and feeling that and this is nothing like this and don't let them freak you out, I want us to start by you telling yourself right now if you're watching it because you're taking this class right now and you haven't started it yet or you're struggling, just go ahead and tell yourself right now, I'm going to pass biochemistry. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to pass my PAs. I'm going to pass my OA. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you don't pass your PA. It matters if you pass your OA. That's how you finish the class. So tell yourself right now, I can, it, it might be hard. It might be a little challenging, but I can pass biochemistry and I will pass biochemistry. Okay? So um, truly tell yourself that and believe it because I told myself that. I was like, everybody's saying this class is hard, but I'm going to pass this class. I'm going to pass the OA on the first try. I'm going to pass my PEAs on the first try. And I did just that. So we got to believe it first. Next thing. Um, so again, this is just what I did. This is not what you have to do. Page 10 videos. So that's the first thing. I had no idea what people were talking about when they were talking about page 10 videos because like, I only read stuff if I actually had to. Maybe if I would have actually went through each thing and read. I would have saw what they meant by page 10 videos. So I had to literally figure it out myself. If you go to type in page 10 or you click in, on the unit when you're, you know, start from page one on the unit and keep clicking until you literally get to page 10. There's a link. I forgot what the link says. Um, I'll find out and I'll put it below somewhere on the screen. This is what, it's like a hyperlink. You click there and it will have all the cohort videos or all the unit video lectures. So it'll have like unit two amino acids, unit three, whatever, four, five, six, seven. So it's unit two through seven are the, the units that you're gonna study in order to pass the test. Watch those videos. So that's the first thing you do. Watch the video and when you're watching the video, take good notes. I took mine handwritten because it's easier that way because honestly I had to do a lot of drawing and I'll also show you what my notes look like uh, when I actually drew like was writing them and drawing them and doing that better help me understand um, and I use a lot of colors I use a lot of highlighters I use a lot of color pens that's just how I take my notes and for me it clicks better um, and I love it and I highly recommend that if you are taking this class do that, like use colors, draw the pictures, draw it out. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. Watch the page 10 videos and watch each one once and take really good notes the first time you watch it. And then when you do that, after each, um, when you watch the, the video and you take good notes, then take the unit quiz and then also do the additional quiz questions. You can do that right after you uh, watch the lecture or you can do it after. When you do take do those questions, and I mean there are a lot of questions in the additional part, I think the unit quiz is usually like 13 questions, and then you get to the additional and it's like freaking 30 to 50 of them. I did every single one of those and sometimes I was being lazy and instead of actually trying to answer the question, I just randomly clicked through all of them just so I could have the answer and the rationale and that's what I focused on. Um, I wrote down the questions um, that I'd like to me, I feel like I need to know, and I wrote down the rationales. So you can put it any way possible. Sometimes you can, I can read in just like make a note from this question that this is the important thing that I need to know. Some of the stuff I actually wrote down the rationale because the rationales really help it make sense and also for you to understand why the other answers aren't it. And they tell you things about the other answers and this is what this actually means, if that makes sense. 
And I was the same way in nursing school where I would do questions and rationales like it was my full-time job. I strongly believe in like doing as many questions as you can. That's how I always prepare for my exams too, was just doing questions and reading the rationale because there's only so many ways you can ask a question. And then you start to get in the habit of like, this is how they ask questions and this is how they want me to apply it and this is what it will look like. So um, that's like the number one thing. So let's go back, page 10 videos, we'll each watch each one once and take notes when you watch it once and then do the questions and then take note of the questions and the rationale. After you do that, go back and watch the videos again for the second time and actually like watch it to listen and truly understand. I'll say this, it sounds like gibberish when you first, that's when you're taking the notes and you're doing everything at first, you have to pause the video, blah, blah, blah. It sounds like gibberish. It sounds like everything they're saying doesn't make sense. And then you're going to get pissed off because you're like, I'm not a goddamn biochemist. Why do I have to know this? What? I'm not a med student. Why do I have to know this? Like, I'm not, in, I'm not a pharmacist or not going to school to be a pharmacist. Why do I have to know this? They do a good job, though, of making it more centered around healthcare, which I can appreciate. So my moral of that whole thing was... It sounds like gibberish at first. I promise, the more you look at it, the more it makes sense. I remember I when I first was looking at it, I was like, what the hell are they even talking about? And then it got so, like it just clicked. Like, I don't know when, how, but the more I looked at it and the more I just was like listening to lecture, doing the, the questions for sure. The questions really made me realize this is what they want me to know. This is the gist of all this information they're giving me. If I could just remember this, this is really what they want me to know, you know? So the more you look at it, the more you make sense, more it makes sense. And then I started making my own way to remember things. It'll make sense. Just keep, give your, be patient and give yourself time. If you can condense it and like really look at this every day, it makes a huge difference too, instead of spreading it out because then you're forgetting information. Um, so yeah, just stay on it. You can do it, I promise. So anyway, after you take your notes from the, the questions and did the rationales and everything, and you watch the video for the second time and just actually listen to the lecture, you can actually speed them up. I sped it up to 1.25 and then listen to the lectures that way. Anything that I think I missed in my notes, I want to make a note of, or they, I feel like they're really driving that point home, I would highlight it, put a star next to it, write another note in my notes so that I remember that. After you do all of those things, you've done the questions, you watch the videos twice, you should have some kind of basis of what, you're, what you should know. And when you go to the biochemistry Facebook page, there is a part that says files. If you hit that, there is a, there's something called a modified dump file. In the modified dump file, there is literally where people have compiled things that they they got they knew was on the OA like that's where that came from it's like the most uh questions from the OA and most uh asked questions or topics on the OA so you know what to expect when you go into the OA obviously take it with a grain of salt and don't just study that because I'm telling you there you want to study your notes but it is so helpful because it literally is telling you some of the questions that you might actually see and um or you will see and um, it'll be highlighted in red, the things that like, no, you really need to know this and like what to focus on and things like that. So it's super, super, super helpful. And then there's little tidbits on there where it's like giving you different ways to remember things. Um, I didn't really use those that much. I kind of found my own way to remember things, but it's helpful. Another thing that's in the biochemistry page, which I recommend so much, when I say these notes were gold, it was called Kaylee's Comprehensive OA Review or Notes, something like that. Um, and it's in the mono, it's still in the files of the biochemistry Facebook page. So make sure you add that page, you look at the files on that page. Those notes were everything. She had them for every unit. And I needed help with because the, the lecture for card the cards unit, which is unit six were so trash and like the person who did the video his voice is so monotone I genuinely couldn't handle it and so 
and the myoglobin hemoglobin it was just a lot in that one so i was having a harder time understanding that her notes i read her notes and it clicked i was like this is so good like this makes way more sense like i actually feel like i can do this now like i, I can take this test and i get what they're saying now so um i would highly recommend those notes as well i will try to link them down below again these are not my notes um the modified dumb file that i can link as well is like my version of it because i did reorganize everything because i have to have stuff in a systematic format and it to be neat for me to be able to study it and i will say that the one that the ones that were on there were a little too messy for me and all over the place so i had to like organize it and better format it on the page so um i can share that with you guys as well um i might even be able to put together something on etsy to make it easy for y'all to just go to the link and be able to download it i don't know i'll try something but download the i mean add the bio, wg's biochemistry facebook page go to the files and really utilize that um kaylee's comprehensive oa notes and the most recent modified highlighted dumb file that's what it's called <clears throat> so after you do those things look over your notes if you need to go back and watch the lecture again do that i didn't have to I only watched it twice so do everything in that order look over the modified dump file um, make notes of things that they even exaggerate on there that's in like bold red letters things like that or really you need to know make note of that because nine times out of ten you're going to see if you don't see it on the oa you'll see it on the pa if you don't see it on the pa you're going to see it on the oa or you'll see it on both and then um kaylee's notes so good especially for like if you're really struggling with a unit goal so especially the carbs, man, and the hemoglobin one, just so good. That is how I passed it. Um, look at that. Give yourself like, after you get all that stuff done, give yourself a day to look over all the notes as you now have. And then when you finish going through the notes, take the first OA. And when you take the first OA, take a deep breath, just do it. It's literally like 30, 67 questions the first time I took it I finished in 40 you shouldn't take that long honestly to answer the questions because it's like when you read the question I feel like you just eventually you just know what they're asking you either you know it or you don't know it I finished the first PA in 47 minutes studied again gave myself like a day to look over the information again and I studied it for probably like four to five hours and I took the second PA and I, and I also, based on the first PA, anything where I scored the lowest, whatever unit I scored the lowest, I did more, I focused more and studied that unit more. So then when I took the second PA, all my scores were way better and the scores I scored in the yellow on um, were now in the green and the blue. So um, do it that way. After that, look over both pas and both questions and unfortunately they don't give you the rationales and i'm not sure if it's possible to get the rationales but make note of the question and what the correct answer was and make sure you know the correct answer to that question if you can figure out why even better um because nine times out of ten you might see it again on the oa so look over all the questions you could go back and the, the unit you to struggle on the most go back and look at the unit quizzes and additional quiz questions and look over that again um just keep looking over everything that's what i'm like literally just keep looking over it keep looking over it keep finding different ways to remember something for example methylation and acetylation i thought ace is good meth is bad so then if you know that meth is bad then you know that it's tighter space because it's not going to let them express and this is going to sound like gibberish still when you're um if you don't already know this information but then when i think like ace is good that means it's going to spread out and you'll be able to express it the way that you want to so i don't know i just came up with ways and that's what you can do come up with ways to where it sticks in your head so when you take the test you can remember it when it comes to answering a question I really hope this was helpful. I feel like I was just like spewing out a lot, but like rewatch the video, maybe write down exactly what I said and go through that systematically. Um, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to watch the videos first and I'm going to take notes and then I'm going to do that, you know, like do that and don't beat yourself up. Keep looking at it and then you're going to be like, when you finish the class, I can't believe I finished the class. I can't believe 
I, I know biochemistry, like I know what they're talking about now. Like you give yourself more credit. You are way smarter than you probably are telling yourself or you know that you're smart, but you're intimidated by the class. You can do it. You got into the program for a reason. You're smart, you're capable, you will pass the class, period, point blank. You will pass it, sis, or bro, whatever. I <laughs> really hope that that was helpful for you. And I really hope you ace, and I know you will. You will ace your OA, your PAs, and you will finish the class strong and get out of there. So, I'm sorry for my sniffles, it's allergies. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Sana, not Shauna. Subscribe and thrive. Also, add me on Instagram because um, I share a lot of WGU stuff and the classes in my notes and stuff like that. So follow me on there to keep updated um, about WGU. And you can also follow me on TikTok because I post stuff on there as well. So bye, guys.